is better, crypto or stocks? Where should you be parking your investments? This is what we're going to take a look at in today's video. Also, I'm going to give price targets on where I think Bitcoin is going and where I think Ethereum is going. Let's dig in. <laughs> Coffee's hitting, I just got this new batch, so I'm gonna be pretty wired up. It's starting to really kick in. All right, so welcome to today's video. Yes, we're doing crypto. We're doing something a little bit different. All of my subscribers that have been watching, you've been watching me because of the stocks, the stock market, and we've been making a killing. Stocks have been booming. Listen, I got Neo Matrix eyeballs. I know how to read these charts like I can read my palm. I go to a palm reader, she don't read me, I read her. I say, hey, Kathy. She goes, what? Yeah, I already knew your name. Anyway, so we're taking a look at crypto because, listen, 10 years ago, I was tipped off to buy Bitcoin. I didn't do it because I was stupid. I actually went to sign up for a Coinbase account and I saw I already had an account from like six years ago. I got excited because I thought maybe I did buy Bitcoin on one drunken night and there was nothing there. I logged into those empty. Stupid move. So look at this. This is my theory. So pay attention. Grab a seat. Grab a beer. Zoom in. Get ready for what I'm about to say. So first of all, on my channel, what I always say is we're no goldfishes here. We have long-term brain memory. We don't have goldfish memory. So we don't click on this video and go, he's not getting to the meat and potatoes off because I'm going to get to it. All right, I don't want any impatient people on my channel, so just scoot, scoot, go, go, okay? This channel is to give you crazy bits of information, and I only want people that want that information that are willing to sit and listen and learn. You're not here for the quick tips. You're here to learn about it and then get the quick tips. So here's my theory. Over the past many decades, people have been investing in the stock market, and it's been steadily going up. And over the past mm, 12 months, maybe 14 months, we've had a massive influx of new traders and the stock market just went parabolic. It went through the roof. I think it busted through a few ceilings. It went through like a 12 story building. That, so that was a clear sign that we were nowhere near maxed out on how many investors are actually trading in the stock market. Not even near. Think about crypto. It's not even close to the amount of people that could be investing in it. Sneeze. <coughs> Woo! Rona. So we're gonna take a look at the charts in a second, but what I'm the point I'm trying to make is, if you look at a chart of the stock market, it's like this, and then it starts rapidly going up, and then as more and more people become aware of it, it goes up even higher and higher and higher and higher, and eventually, it just goes completely vertical, like a SpaceX rocket. Completely vertical, but when that happens, you wanna make sure you've been in it. Okay, because it's eventually the rocket fuel is going to burn out and there's no one in space to refuel. It's going to come straight down, plummet to Earth and maybe never recover. But it, it might. It probably will. So what I'm saying is the stock market hasn't done that. It hasn't gone completely vertical, but it's very close. It's very close. Crypto is nowhere near that point. It's not enough people are investing in it. Think about it. A few years ago, a big corporations wouldn't touch it. Now we got Papa Musk buying it. Okay, Papa Musk, many other people are gonna follow. We have all these big banks now allowing you to trade crypto. We got ATMs popping up left and right. I saw a little kid depositing coins in the ATM. I was like, what are you doing? That's not how it works. He was literally pushing coins in, like, like plastic coins he found. I think it was those chocolates, those chocolate coins. It's like, kid, I know you know all about Bitcoin now, but that's not how it works, it's gonna melt. And now we got NFTs. You use Ethereum to buy NFTs. If you don't know what that is, you gotta Google it because it's fairly new. Google might not even tell you yet. So a theory I have is maybe possibly stocks are gonna be the old way of investing for the old dogs, the Warren Buffets, and crypto's gonna be the new wave, which it's already happening, but on a very small scale. So as more people get on board, it's gonna continue to grow, 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 and be more useful in all different areas. Let's dig into the chart. Okay, now looking at Bitcoin, there's a few things that I wanna point out and where I think Bitcoin is going. So the first thing I wanna point out is volume is growing. If you look at this blue line, it's kind of faint, but you can see I'm drawing it. It's getting higher and higher. Look at these small areas and that's growing bigger and bigger and bigger. 
it's waving around. So this is going to continue to grow. As this area grows, this indicates that more people are buying and selling Bitcoin, which is a good thing. More eyeballs means it can move up higher, more people can own it and trade it. Also, down here, my other indicator that I like, these are, I use simple indicators. There's so many different indicators, there's hundreds of them. Keep it simple. Pick the ones that work, and these ones work perfectly. So the other one I like is RSI. It pretty much tells you when the stock is hot potatoing or the crypto coin is hot potatoing, meaning let it go. So when it goes red up here, it's hot potatoing, let it go. It will come back down, and then you can buy it down here. And then it will go back up, and then when it hot potatoes again, it will go back down. Down here, you'll buy it again. It will run up, and then it'll hot potato again up here. You'll sell. It will come back down. And it seems to be hitting this line right here at the 50-point line. So when it comes down to here, it would be a great time to load up on Bitcoin. Again, this seems to be the area where investors and buyers of Bitcoin want to get back in on these dips based on rsi it looks like bitcoin might come down to around the 515 52,000 range before it heads back up as you can see today it's kind of bouncing around a little bit but i think it has more way to go down more choppy chop action to go down and then eventually it's going to head up when that hits that oops when it hits that 50 point on the rsi and then it'll head back up and then maybe test the 65,000 point so here's the trend line right now of where bitcoin's been trading over the last few months it should pull back down to like i said around here around 52 and then head back up test that 65 right around here come back down and just ride a nice wave and then eventually change direction because it's eventually going to probably change direction on the upwards movement and then trend up here and have a new trend line break out even higher because it's going to start to go vertical from horizontal movement which was happening uh more back here more horizontal movement so as we can see every few months it changes direction the trend gets higher and higher so it's doing this bitcoin boom 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 eventually vertical spacex straight to the skies like i've been saying Papa Musk is going to be on Mars by the time it goes vertical. Now, my personal price target for Bitcoin is 100K by the end of the year. Now, that would be incredible if that happened. I will be buying Bitcoin on the dippies and building a nice cryptocurrency portfolio. I'm so focused on stocks because if you were buying stocks as of March of last year at the bottom, it was like buying it in 2008. They were the biggest discounts of all time. It couldn't be ignored. I'm loading up, loading up, loading up, making a killing on all stocks. Now it's time to build a crypto portfolio. And if you are new to crypto or if you want to start building your crypto portfolio, hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be doing it along the channel, putting out videos on how I'm doing that exactly. 100K price target for Bitcoin. And I have a $10,000 price target for Ethereum. I think Ethereum is going to dramatically move much more rapidly than Bitcoin, which is interesting. Now the question is, Crypto or stocks? What's better? I think they're both phenomenal. So here's my strategy and my plan. I'm going to have 50% crypto. I'm going to have 50% stocks. I'm going to play both. So if the dollar starts weakening and stocks start crashing, I'll pull some money out of there and I'll put it in there. If the stock market starts rallying aggressively and crypto starts going down, I'll pull some out of there and I'll go over there. Why not dip in both? So that's my plan, 50-50. I think that's a great balance, some for what's going on now and some for the future. So that's my play. So if you are new to the channel, I do investment videos on how to retire young because my philosophy is that it's stupid that you work your whole life. You're working for someone else. The point of life isn't to work for someone else. It's to live the life you want to live your way. So I do that mostly through investing videos because investing you get way ahead. We're doing what the big wigs do and the hedge funds do and the whales do. We're not the whales. We're just the little fish that ride with the whales. And that's good enough for me. We're not the guppies. We're not the sharks. Just the little guys that ride with the big whales. So if you do want to know, when I buy Bitcoin, I buy Ethereum, I buy other stocks, I'm trading all like clean energy, tech stocks, EV stocks. I'm all over the place finding stocks that show the most potential, the most gains, and the most returns. That link is in the description. You'll get a bing right to your phone when i buy sell reduce add or go all in on any of these stocks as i'm watching like a hawk i'm bird's eye from a distance from the power lines looking down waiting for the perfect opportunity 
Hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, by hitting that button, it's doing magical things. It's also getting you a little bit closer to retiring. Yeah!